Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Clemenson reduction. The Clemenson reduction is a reaction that converts an aero ketone or aldehyde. And this ketone or aldehyde, the carbonyl group, needs to be next to the aromatic ring. And actually, we'll reduce this reaction or th reduce this compound down to the hydrocarbon. So replace the uh, carbonyl group with single bonds to hydrogen. The reagents that are used for this are zinc mercury amalgam and concentrated hydrochloric acid. And the, and the hydrochloric acid is the source of the hydrogen and the oxygen ends up in dissolve and end up as zinc mercury oxides. Um, so that does rephrase that zinc slash mercury is zinc mercury amalgam and an amalgam is a solution of, of zinc in mercury right mercury is a liquid so it can act as a solvent and, and solutions of other metals in mercury are called amalgams or you know i have no idea uh, this works with any kind of ketone but it needs to be you know, next to that aromatic ring, it can't be somewhere else. So whatever, whatever that alkyl group on the other side of the ketone is is preserved. Um, that, as I shared, if that ketone is somewhere else in the molecule, this Clemenson reduction is not necessarily going to reduce it to the um, hydrocarbon. Now I'm putting no reaction here because I'm not 100% sure that you know zinc mercury amalgam is actually a pretty decent reducing agent so I'm not 100% sure that it isn't going to still perhaps reduce it to the alcohol but I don't know enough about uh, the situation to suggest that that's the case. And then finally, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I just wanted to draw out that this reaction works on benzaldehyde. And it's one of the ways that you could conceive of converting benzaldehyde to toluene. There are also other uh, reductions out there that will convert carbonyl groups down to the hydrocarbon um, that don't require the presence of the aromatic ring. Uh, and so those videos will be upcoming in my series of video on carbonyl chemistry. Um, stay tuned for more uh, videos on the redox reactions of substituted benzenes. Thank you for watching.